Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you could join me. Today, I wanna talk about the common mistakes in the shower dealing with your hair. It could be washing your hair, not washing your hair. I don't discriminate, you do what you do. But there are a few wrong things that you might have done or still do that I have done. Common mistake number one, this is before you get into the shower and rinse your hair. Not brushing out your hair if it's prone to tangles and knots, because my hair is really fine and thin, so it's very prone to tangling. And I would just skip the brushing out part and I would try to brush it out when it's wet. And that is so bad for your hair because it is super weak when it is wet. So take a brush, brush out your hair very gently before you jump into the shower and your hair will be less prone to tangling. The second kind of mistake for me was using shampoos with a lot of added stuff into them. Sulfates, parabens. Sulfates is what helps your shampoos get that really good lather, but they're really bad because they can cause really dry, irritated scalp. It can cause frizzy hair. And then of course, an overproduction of oils, which obviously is not that good of a thing for our hair or scalp. And parabens, it's pretty much a preservative chemical that they put into a lot of beauty products, especially in shampoos, to help prevent fungus and microorganisms and growing in our products so they can last a lot longer, which is not good at all. You wanna use shampoos that are more natural, that are healthier, that have less ingredients. If you wanna check out how safe and natural your products are that you use right now, I love this website, ewg.org. They are an organization that tests products and they break it down to you by ingredients and they let you know what it is, how harmful, how safe, how natural it is, are i just love that informative website it's so good and they have thousands upon thousands of products and brands the third common kind of mistake i was not utilizing clarifying shampoos you get a lot of buildup from various things one could be the type of water you have which could result with a lot of calcium buildup in your hair and your scalp if you use a lot of hair products hairspray dry shampoo dry texture spray leave-in conditioners or you just use very crappy shampoos that create a lot of buildup in your scalp or your hair so this is why you want to resort to really natural healthy clarifying shampoos and one of my favorites both of ours andre's and mine we love clevos and this is their rosemary shampoo it is so good. It is all natural. And the best part is they are EWG certified. They are USDA certified organic. And of course the European, the BDIH, I believe also certified. It smells good and it's actually really pretty. The bottle it has the rosemary leaf inside of it. I think it's stunning and it smells very clean, fresh. And the best part is it cleans my hair and my scalp without over drying it. And my hair feels very soft and my scalp is not irritated, it's fresh and it's clean. And of course, the best part is, if you love Amazon Prime and you live in the United States, the shampoo is on there, that means free shipping and fast shipping. I'm all about Amazon Prime, I love it. And of course, the link will be down below. And thank you to Clavos for working with us on this portion of the video and of course, the amazing products that we both love and enjoy. The fourth common mistake, I washed my hair pretty much every single day. I shampooed it and conditioned it way too much with those crappy shampoos that produced so much excess buildup and extra oils in my hair that I did not need. Some of us have certain conditions where we have to wash our hair, but for most of us, we don't because we have the natural oil in a hair that is actually very good for your scalp and your hair. If you wash it every single day, you strip your hair of those natural oils, which results in lackluster hair, lifeless hair, and of course, sometimes it could even make you produce extra oil that you did not need because it kind of triggers the body thinking that it needs that extra oil because you're stripping your hair and your scalp of the natural oils. How many times did I just say oil? I guess so many questions asked how I keep my hair fresh after the gym since I don't wash my hair every single day. I wash it regularly four to five days. I have trained it. After I come home, my hair is nice and sweaty and wet, usually towards the bottom and 
right here, right where my face meets the hair. And what I usually do is I take my hair dryer, blast it on the coolest heat setting if I don't have time, if I'm in a rush, or I air dry it, and I make sure I dry it completely where it's mostly wet. And then when it's all dry, I go to my dry shampoo and I pretty much just do all of that. Sometimes even the next day, I'll just blow dry it or air dry it and then I don't even need dry shampoo after that just because my hair is already trained and it loves it. And I've noticed such a crazy difference from not washing my hair every single day or every other day just because my hair is a lot fresher, it has more body, I can do more things with my hair, and I just utilize different hairstyles. I utilize hats sometimes on the fourth and fifth day if it gets pretty bad. That's what I do. That's kind of how I trained my hair was with hats, braids, and different hairstyles. I actually got criticized in one of my videos I came back from the gym, I did my makeup, washed my body, but didn't wash my hair. And people were like, oh my gosh, you're so disgusting for not washing your hair, ew. Like, how could you do that? I'm obviously kidding, but seriously, try it out. The next common kind of mistake, I did not shampoo and condition my hair properly. Yeah, I was a weird child. <laughs> so what I would do was I would shampoo my ends first and then go into my roots and my scalp. I have no idea why I did that. Nobody even taught me that. I just thought it was proper. Who knows? I don't know. I will never know, but that is very wrong. You're supposed to shampoo your scalp and your roots just because that's where you have the newest, freshest hair. That's where your oil produces. And then if you need to, you can massage and shampoo your ends, but most likely you don't need to just because your ends are already dry. So massage gently on your scalp, get all up in there. I love massaging my hair with shampoo in the shower. It is so nice and so calming. And it also produces more blood flow to your scalp, which results with hair growth. And of course with conditioner, I'm sure all of us have done this and maybe some of us still do. You take the conditioner, <laughs> and it's pretty much you have a mountain of conditioner hair. And what did I do? I just slapped it onto my roots and my scalp, and then I brought it to my ends. That is so bad because my hair is already super fine and thin, so it's very prone to laying flat against my scalp and not having any volume or life. So now what I do is I only apply it to the ends of my hair, and then I take a wide tooth comb, I keep it in the shower, and I very gently brush it through my ends, kind of making my way up to the middle, and I just brush it out to evenly distribute the conditioner from the ends to the mid length of my hair. And the last kind of mistake, I was using really hot water or warm water to wash and rinse my hair. Yes, taking a nice hot shower is good. It opens up those pores, just kind of opens everything up. But when you rinse or wash your hair out, it's great to wash it out with very cold water. Just think of it this way, the ice bucket challenge. That was great you will do something great for your hair. It helps seal the hair cuticles, which results less frizzy and very smooth hair, which means shinier, bouncier hair. Your hair will love it. Your body might not, but it will feel good and it will wake you right up if you're taking showers in the morning. <laughs> I love rinsing my hair with cold water. I do it as cold as possible. So there we have it for some of my common mistakes with hair in the shower. What are some of yours that you have changed to make your hair life so much more enjoyable? <laughs> Thank you for watching and spending time with me. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.